everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about how I organise my bookshelves. So there's a fair few things kind of going on. It's organised in a variety of ways. So basically I want to talk to you guys about how I organise my bookshelf, but also please let me know how you organise it because I'm trying to figure out a way to do it that works. I'm going to start off with my TBR shelf. Now I have two shelves, right? The top one are books that have been there for several years. The bottom one are ones that I've bought in the last year or so. So they're divided up into two sections. Each one they are organised according to height, from shortest to tallest. And they are also kind of double stacked. Half double stacked. But that shelf can get a bit crazy. As I get new books I just kind of chuck them on and then I'll actually organise them whenever I feel like it, when I can't stand the look of it. So when it gets really full it's completely double stacked and then I've got books shoved up in all the gaps that I can. I'll give you a peek at what it looks like. The top shelf here, these books have been there for a couple of years. So they're, they're in height order. So these ones here, they're the shortest of the short. Then behind that, continuing up, 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 up to the tallest. Now this one's a little more insane because these are the recent books that I've gotten. So as you can see, this is not in height order whatsoever. The ones in the front here, I do not have in order. But the ones behind, they are in height order. So that's just my TBR shelf. I kind of like how that works out, but I just get really lazy with it sometimes. Onto the shelf of the books that I have read. Now, I've got one, two, three, four. These books are divided into four sections. Firstly, I have my series on the top two shelves. Secondly, I have my favourite books that kind of take up one and a bit shelves. <laughs> Third, I just have random standalone books. And lastly, in one big group, it's kind of like the really big ass chunky books that don't fit anywhere else in the shelf because they're too freaking tall. And then I also have my school books and my classics. So my series, they're kind of in high order. It's a little difficult because with some of them I have paperbacks and hardbacks and the hardbacks are obviously taller, the paperbacks are shorter, but in some of them I have one random tall one because they didn't make it the size of the other books, which is really frustrating. I hate it when that happens. That one's a little messy, but there's not much I can do about it if I want to keep my series all together because I don't like having them scattered around my bookshelf, that's why I have all my series together. So next I have my favourites. Now these are organised according to colour. So I have like my whites and kind of light greys, then I go to my greens, my blues, purples, reds, oranges, kind of browns, and then my blacks. And then within each of these colours I go from like lightest to darkest. The thing that frustrates me about this one is I have a couple of series in my favourites because I love the series as a whole. For example my Hunger Games, Harry Potter, and I also have Divergent and Insurgent, but they actually sit side by side, which is pretty lucky. Because, I mean, with The Hunger Games, I've got, like, green, red, and blue. So, they're all kind of separate, and I don't really like having my series separated. Which is really kind of tricky, because I don't know what to do now. Because I really like it in the colour coordinated, but I don't want to have my favourite series up on the series shelf. Because then they're nowhere special. You know what? I could put them over here on my little shelf above my bed. I am a freaking genius. Oh my god, why didn't I not think of this before? Dude, oh my god, that is so gonna work out. Because then I can have like my favourite series highlighted right above my bed. Oh. Anyway, moving on. Then I have my random standalone books. These ones are also colour coordinated. Same colour scheme going on here and they work pretty well. And lastly, I also have, okay, the really big fat chunky books. I'm pretty sure they're in height order, but they're going the opposite way of all the other ones. <laughs> so usually I go from shortest to tallest, but with those ones I go from tallest to shortest for some reason. I don't know. And then with my school slash classics, I go from shortest to tallest as well. So first here we have my series. Now, as I said, it's kind of in height order. So I have the shortest, then getting gradually taller, taller, taller. And then, okay, with my Twilight books, they're all random height. So I'm just like, you know what? So you can chill on your side. Same thing with this series, the Vampire Academy series. They're all on their sides. Then it gradually gets taller. But like I said, I have one hardback, the rest paperback. Same here, paperback, hardback, hardback, and then, oh, the goddamn passion one, it is so freaking tall compared to the other ones, and it doesn't come in that height, which really frustrates me. Okay, so here is my favourite shelf, it's kind of in colour order, so I've got like whites, then greys, then greens, blues, purples, 
reds, and then blacks. Okay, I understand these ones are a bit funky, but I try to do the most prominent color. Then down there is my blacks. Continuing on with my random standalones, whites, grays, greens, blues, and purples. Continuing on with purples, then reds. The red look really nice. Then down to black again. And then on my bottom shelf, it's a bit random. See, opposite height order for these ones. And then my classics and school books are in other height order. That's how I organize my bookshelf. I did once do it in alphabetical order according to the author's last name. However, I really didn't like the look of it because it was all like all over the place. It just looked really messy and I don't like the look of that. Whereas when in height order, it's really neat looking. And also with color coordinated, although the heights do vary, there is something linking all the books together. They have like same color in common, so it looks a lot nicer. So, I don't know, I'm really paranoid about having a good looking shelf. I'm really quite anal about this. It changes all the time. Whenever I am tidying my room, if I pick up a book, I put up my shelf and I'm just like, you know what? I'm in a tidying up mood, so I'm just going to change the order of my bookshelf. I take everything off, then I put everything back on nice and new. And then my floor stays exactly the same. This happens with not only books, but like clothes and then jewellery and then makeup and shoes. So I change it every once in a while. But how do you guys organize your bookshelves? I would love to know what kind of methods you use because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What works best for you? Do you have your books divided up into different sections or are they all just on there in some order? Do you just put them there because it fits there? No order at all? What do you do? I'd love to know. Hopefully I can find some good suggestions. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!